Now, let me show you how to create a reducer for this project. So inside this reducer folder, right here, I'm going to create a new file and name this file todos reducer.js. That's upon you. You can name anything to this reducer file. Inside this reducer file, I'm going to first initialize the initial state. So I'm going to say here a command initial state and then I'm going to specify constant variable with variable name initial state is equal to then specify an object inside this object I have to do and this is a type of array so I'm going to pass empty add here just out of that here I'm going to say export default function and then I'm going to pass name to this function which is to do's reducer and as you know with the reducer you will get two parameters state and action I'm going to pass both that and let me first initialize this state variable with the initial value so I'm going to say here state is equal to initial value inside this to do's reducer let me create a switch case so I'm going to say here switch inside it I'm going to say action dot type and inside this curl braces I'm going to create my different cases so let me first create my first case here I'm going to say case and here I'm going to pass my action types you all know we have a dedicated file for the action types let me use that here so let me open my tools reducer at the top I'm going to say import star as action types from and in the single quote double dot horror slash to locate the action folder and then I'm going to specify types file name like this and here in this case I can simply say action types dot and then I'm going to specify my action type here you can notice I can access my constant variable here so I'm going to first access this started variable action type started so I'm going to say here action type dot add to do started and this is my first case so I'm going to specify here colon and inside this case I'm going to return an object I'm going to return the previous state so I'm going to specify here spirit operator with a state variable now let me just pass few more properties to this initial state instead of just to do's I can simply create here a property called loading and this is right now false I can change the value of this loading to true when the action add to do started so just on here I'm going to specify comma and then I'm going to say here loading is equal to true so when this action happen I'm going to change this loading value to true just out of that let me create my second case just down here I'm going to create here a case specify action types dot to do success and to this to do success I'm going to return object and inside this object I'm going to first return my previous state like this and then I'm going to return loading false so what I'm going to do is when I call add to do started I'm going to return the initial state when I call the action add to do success, I'm going to return the initial state as well as change the loading value to false. And I'm going to specify here to do's and inside an array, I'm going to pass my state. So just down here, I'm going to say triple dot spread operator, specify here state, then specify dot to do's. And then we have this property in this initial state. Let me just access it. So just out of that. I'm going to specify here comma and say here action dot payload so when I call this action I can get this payload value and I'm going to pass that to this to this oops I think I misspelled the dot here like this just out of that let me create my third case here and this is the action types dot add failure specify colon and here I'm going to return an object with the previous state so I'm going to pass here previous state like this and then I'm going to return the loading is going to be false and as well as with this state I'm going to return an error message so let me add this error property inside my initial state here I'm going to say error and specify initial value now don't forget to add comma here and just down here I'm going to say error and pass action dot payload dot error now when I call this action I'm going to pass my action payload error value to this state error property now let me save this file and create a store for this reducer so I'm going to create a new file inside this store 
and name this file store.js and now let me create a new store here so to create a store i'm going to first import the create store function so i'm going to say here import create store from in the single quote i'm going to specify redux but as you know i don't have this redux package in my application so before we import this function from this package i need to first install this package in my project so let me first open my terminal stop this development server and here i'm going to say npm i for install and install redux as well as i'm going to install react redux this package is going to help us to add provider and provide the store to all my react components just out of that we also need react thunk we all know how to work with react thunk in the previous lecture now let me just click on enter and install all these three packages in my project once i have all these three packages in my project i can use it let me first start my development server like this and now if i specify here redux then i can access my redux package here like this just down here i'm going to create a comment and say create a store as you know to create a store you need to create a constant variable store and pass a function create store or you can just export this create store as well that's upon you so i'm going to say here create store and inside it i'm going to pass my reducer as a first parameter as you know i don't have reducer inside this file so let me first import that so i'm going to say here import to do's reducer from specify single code double dot to locate this reducer folder and then i'm going to specify to do's reducer let me use this to do's reducer right here as a first parameter and just out of that i'm going to export default store back to your main index file so let me minimize everything back to my index file and right now this application is rendering this app component let me change it and create my own component inside it so inside this source folder here inside this components i'm going to create a new file and name this file to do creator dot js and i'm going to just specify here a simple functional component so i'm going to say here react functional component inside it i'm going to say h2 heading tag and i'm going to say here to do redux application save this file back to the index and let me first import my component here i'm going to first say here import statement and i'm going to first import my to do creator from i'm going to specify the component folder then i'm going to specify to do creator let me specify this component right here just out of that let me just add a provider here at the top i'm going to say import in the curly braces i'm going to say provider from and as you know we have the provider in react redux module i'm going to specify that here and instead of this react strict mode i can just simply pass here provider just like this and at the end let me add my store here from in the single code i'm going to specify the redux store inside it i have the store file so i'm going to say here a property store is equal to and then i'm going to pass the store variable save all my files now at the last i need to connect this to do creator to the store so i'm going to just back to my component to do creator let me show you the properties of these components to get the properties of your functional component you need to pass here props parameter and using it you can access all the properties of this component so i'm going to say here console.log and i'm going to print all the properties so i'm going to say here props let me reload the browser and you can notice here inside it i don't have any property to this component let me connect this component to the store and add a dispatch method as well as some other properties so i'm going to just add here connect function and connect this component to the store instead of adding the connect function just down here i'm going to create a dedicated file for that because with connect function you can pass two parameters map state to props and map dispatch to props i'm going to use both that functions so instead of creating a connect function here i'm going to create a new file for that so inside my store here i'm going to create a new file and name it container.js i'm going to just simply say export default 
and I'm going to just export the connect function. As you can see, when I pass here connect, we choose to record will automatically add the import statement at the top. Right now, I'm not going to pass anything. So I'm going to leave this parenthesis as it is and inside a second parameter, I'm going to pass my to do creator. So let me first import that component here. So I'm going to say here import to do creator from in the single code double dot forward slash then specify my component folder inside it I have to do creator let me pass that as a second parameter right here save this file and just back to your main index file right here and instead of this to do creator I'm going to just get this to do creator from the container right from here so let me get it off this component file specify here redux store specify store folder and container like this save this file back to your project and reload it you can notice when i reload i'm going to have the dispatch method with it i can access now the dispatch method of the store so this is how you can work with different files in the redux application next we're going to create a thunk middleware for this application